Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my weekly stock update video with One Stop of Apothecary Shop. Uh, I've been busy getting up a bunch of different products uh, this week and I just wanted to show you guys a few. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to see below for links to my Instagram, my Facebook group, and my eBay shop. I have um, a large paper crafting store online on eBay. Uh, so feel free to check those links out below and you will not be sorry. So yeah, hopefully everyone had a good week. Um, the first thing I'm going to start out here with is uh, simple stories. A lot of companies are bringing out their fall stuff. So I've been busy listing a lot of fall stuff and, and some Christmas items. Um, so this one is a variety of different, it's all simple stories, but it's a variety of different um storylines I guess you could say um so most of it is from this harvest lane and it's really pretty um this is a 12 by 12 kit it has stickers on the back it's got some it looks like journaling cards in here um so that is a 12 by 12 kit and then let's see what else is we'll do harvest lane first it's got these snap pockets which I think are for little scrapbooks and planners. And then snap pages, and there's eight of those in there. And then this, there was these really pretty loose fall sheets I had. This one's by the collection Pumpkin Spice, and these are all double-sided. And I thought that the colors and the theme worked really well overall with, with this one, so I kind of lumped them all together. This one's the same as that one. Here's this one. I apologize for my dirty fingers. I was busy crafting yesterday <laughs> and uh, did some stuff with some mixed media. So sorry about that. All right. And then this one is a six by eight paper pack. It is opened, um, but there are 24 sheets in here. This one's from the Fall Farmhouse line. And this one is very, very pretty. I love that one. Very fallish. Yeah, just, uh, just wanted to show you guys a few of those. And uh, before I forget to mention, which I'm sure you saw, especially if you're on my Facebook or Instagram, Lawn Fawn this week is half off. Um, no, sorry, not, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean half off. I meant 20% off. I apologize. Um, so yeah, I, I, I just wanted to show you a sample. I think I have 60 some Lawn Fawn products in my shop. Uh, so feel free to check out the codes for that that I'll link in the descriptions. And let's see, this one is called Forest Feast. This one comes with the matching dies. Nice fall Thanksgiving type set. <clears throat> this one is so stinking cute. I have that one in my personal stash. Uh, pick of the Patch and Pumpkin Spice. The Pumpkin Spice has the matching die that cuts out this little mug. This is for the stamp set only. I love squirrels. I always play with the little squirrels in our yard. I like to feed them and give them peanuts. So anytime I see a squirrel set, I get a little excited. All right, this is a couple of dyes, uh, garden gnome and treehouse that I've listed together. And I thought worked really, really well together. And remember again, these are all 20% off this week. And here's a group of greetings that I've lotted together. These can make a big impact on a card, providing a giant focal point. One of my own sets in my personal collection. This one is Fairy Friends. Got the matching dies. This one I was tempted to keep because I love unicorns and mermaids. Um, and I do make some kid cards. So this is a uh, Mermazing Mermaid. And this one is Stitch Pond. And I thought these would go together because it's you can make that into kind of like a little swimming pool. All right, this next one always reminds me of my dad. He liked outer space and all things outer space. This one's called Beam Me Up. It's the matching dies. Here's a couple Christmas sets. Uh, let's see, these are Christmas Fishes and Penguin Party. And the last one I'm going to show you here, uh, just add glitter. I thought this one was really cute for all of us crafters. 
All right, now the new stuff this week. Let's get going on that. Have a few new sets from Ulta New. I enlisted these in a group because I thought they worked really, really well together. There's the Dahlia, Happy Petals, and Layered Lily. Um, just a tip, if you guys ever want to see like samples with these, just type in to Google um, the um, set name and then click on images and it'll show you basically everything that's ever been created with these sets. That's kind of what I do when I, when I determine whether or not I'm going to buy a product. These are a couple older sets from Gina K. These go together. Um, Holiday Basket and Basket Editions 2. And I can show you how big. Um, it's interesting because one of these is photopolymer. This one is cling. Um, so they are different. Um, let me see. I don't have a ruler on me. But I think this basket, yeah, it's three and a half inches wide. So that gives you um, some dimensions to work with. And they both match each other. So I was like, I'm going to stick them together. Okay, a couple of nice big sets by Pink Fresh Studios. This is a couple of their older ones that aren't available anymore. These are called uh, Playful Animal Friends. It's parts one and two. Uh, Pink Fresh, very nice photopolymer. I totally almost said that opposite. And then um, these are five and a half by eight inches each. So they're a nice larger stamp set. Avery L is a great company. These guys make really cute animal sets. This one is called Toucan Party. And this one would be really pretty. You could do a lot of cute bright colors with this one because it's kind of a tropical jungle type thing. Matching dyes with this one. Uh, let's see, next one is Picket Fence Studios, and this one is called Friendly Mutt. Just listed these this week. And this one has dies that cut out each of the doggies. And this one, I always look for pet sympathy sayings too. And this one has a couple of really, really, really nice ones. And this one's cute too, sloppy kisses. Okay, another Picket Fence this week. This one is called A Bear Kind of Winter. It's a polar bear set. I wanted to show you guys this one. Also matching dyes with this one. This Tim Holtz die I thought was really cool, especially just in time for fall. Um, so yeah, this one I want to show you guys. This one's new in the store kind of whipping through things here. This is kind of more of a fall set by Gerda Steiner Designs. Great quality photopolymer. She also makes a ton of cute little animals and characters. I do have quite a few of hers uh, in my store. So feel free to check out some others. <clears throat> Sorry for all the bags, baggy noises. I hope they're not too loud for you guys. This is another Pink Fresh set. This one is a planner set that I thought I would group together. These are a little bit smaller. I believe these ones are three by four. And uh, so yeah, if any of you are interested in planner stuff, I know I have a few of you out there. Um, love, love, love Pink Fresh. I think years ago, I think they did more specialize in planner. They don't quite as much anymore. They, they have a lot of, excuse me, beautiful floral stamps and dies. They're more florals now than planners, but. Um, okay, this one is an Anna Griffin die. I always pick Anna Griffin dies up. And this one is called, let me check that thing again, Flower Bramble. And the package has been opened, so I'm listing it as used. But I was gonna go cut out an image of the die to show you guys, like the actual image, because I would imagine it's gorgeous. And the die appears to be stuck to the with the adhesive like the the double-sided adhesive that the manufacturer puts in the die is stuck on it so I don't think this die has been used I think the package has just been opened and this one is five by seven in size okay got some graphic 45 let me zoom out a little bit this is the typography set this one is not a full 24 sheets. This one has 18, but I listed it because it's still got 
Ooh, look at that one. It's still got a lot of great pieces to it inside that I definitely wanted to find this one a good home because it's very vintagey, like still a ton of crafting you can do with these 18 sheets in here. Let's see, there's some patterns and they're all double-sided. There's the last one there. Okay. And a couple from Stampin' Up. This one is Hey Chick. Um, cute little farmhousey type set. And this one has the matching dies that cut out the chickens and the little egg. I have this one in my personal collection. I had to get it because I have a lot of chicken sets. And I love, love, love the coop and the corn and the little chicken wire. This one is a cling mount. I did list quite a few um, Stampin' Up! sets, so if that's a brand you like, feel free to check out all my new ones. This one is called Art Gallery, and this one is Photopolymer, and both of these are new. So I thought those were some really pretty watercolory looking whirls. And then I have this great big kit I wanted to show you a planner kit by Gossamer Blue. Um, there is a ton, ton, a ton, a ton of, of stuff in here. So you got alphabet stickers, you got a journal, and the ephemera is crazy. Stickers, phrase stickers, more stickers, die cuts, let's see, chipboard, more chipboard. What's this? It's almost like a, a tape. Tape tape sticker. Washi washi strips. That's what they're called. More washi strips. And all of these are new. Here's some, is that? Yep, rub ons. Die cuts. Vellum circles. Basically anything you can imagine is in this kit. Although I will mention it does not come with any stamps. <laughs> I'm still going, guys. This. This kit is off the hook with the quantity of embellishments in here. And some of these are enamel stickers, which are nice and thick and poofy. Oh, I love those. Those are super pretty. Look at those. Stickers, stickers, tags. Um, yeah, you guys can do a ton of stuff with this kit. All right. That is it for this weekly stock update. Uh, thanks for joining me. I sure appreciate everyone out there. And I will talk to you next week. Take care.